And last but not least, we're going to talk about MicroMasters. Uh, when we discussed this originally, we were kind of like, you know, spitball and going like, how are they going to do this? Are they going to be three packs? Are they going to be the traditional, you know, three pack like a mini con set? Are they going to be four pack like the Back original the day, MicroMasters? Yep. Or maybe even a two pack? And lo and behold, here's our answer. It's going to be a two pack. And I guess the choice with making it a two pack is good because if it's, two, if it's a two pack, I think it limits the the amount of uh, budget that has to be spread across so many characters. Um, and, I mean, the articulation is definitely better than that of, let's say, the original MicroMasters, but not by much. Yeah, um, it's just the, the legs. The legs bend. <laughs> yeah, more uh, and, or less. And, yeah, the legs bend. I was going to say maybe they have a thigh swivel, but I don't think so. I don't it's, know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, so we have three sets here that are uh, shown to us, essentially. Um, to just mention in terms of their price point, they're going to be equal to that of the Battlemaster price point. What that is uh, price-wise, we don't know. Um, they've showed us essentially the Race Patrol, which is Swindler making his grand return. Ooh. Swindler was a, uh, a DeLorean back in the day mm -hmm. of the original Generation 1 MicroMasters, and because of the history of DeLorean... And what happened with that car, if you look it up on uh, Wikipedia, I'm not going to go into their history too deeply. You can actually, but DMC, uh, I would actually recommend looking up, uh, um, what was it, regular car reviews, um, like mini documentary on that. That's actually pretty fascinating. Yeah. Regular car reviews, DeLorean, yeah. look up that and uh, on, on YouTube and you'll get a pretty good history of why this character was called Swindler. Because uh, DMC had a shady history, and someone at Hasbro all those years ago in 1989 thought they'd be cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but it, and uh, absolutely so. You know, it's not Swindle, the um, the uh, Combaticon, it's Swindler. So he makes his return. Uh, the alt mode itself is obviously a, a slight departure from that of the DMC DeLorean, but still gets the general colors and shape across. So we still, even though if it doesn't look like a DeLorean anymore, um, it's, it still has those you know, that general look and the gold face and the blue, the blue head and shoulders that was that of the original, uh, of the original MicroMaster. And his partner is a good choice. And they, I think this choice that they made is also because of what, uh, names they have currently in their, in their, uh, patent office and their trademarks is that of Road Handler. And it's kind of funny because I was, I was actually doing a little photo shoot of Road Handler not too long ago, <laughs> uh, because he, he was ready. most famous famously known as one of the uh world wrestling champions in the human world of autobots <laughs> and so Ro R road handler gets an update also which is really cool and he he is very very um trans am i guess is the best way yeah, to put that's it that's the spot on it's a trans am yeah. it's a it's it if it it sh technically should have no it's not a firebird but it's in that same body it's in that same family of Trans Am, yeah. basically, so you, it would and it would probably have like a Thunderbird on the on the on the front of it on the roof. Yeah, and what's and what's cool about hood, that is me. this one here, like it's a Trans Am. The original really was invoking that. Mm -hmm. Even if you go back and look at that original MicroMaster, they were really trying to go for that T top kind of Trans Am. Yeah, exactly. From from like let's say I would have to say like eighty four as a car guy, like eighty four, eighty five. Yeah. Um, so that's really cool that they're able to kind of, you know, in the case of Swindler, for obvious reasons, they couldn't be too true to the original. Yeah, because, but, um, that car is actually, um, they're still, they, they've come, they've made a little bit of a comeback, actually, uh, DMC. I think it's new owners and all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, so they can't really do that. It wouldn't be, it, it wouldn't be, um, yeah. You know. But it's still cool to have the character back. Yeah, exactly. And, and, the, and the history associated with that, because that was the first ever and only DeLorean Transformer. So to have him back, it's cool. In the case of Road Handler, it's really awesome that he's pretty much the spiritual level up of his original version. Now, we were mentioning in the previous uh, segment about the Battlemasters with the accessories and how I was saying there was a certain car that they were that was using that accessory. So what's cool with the Battlemasters is you could kind of attach those... Uh, those energy plugs into certain characters and there's a really cool photo and i'm going to again include the photo with this segment too uh showing that uh like the delorean here in vehicle mode and it has the fire behind it you know so kind of like very back to the future kind of thing going on here and that's really awesome 
Uh, we'll move on to the other MicroMasters. Oh, and by the way, the names of these characters are also registered of the original name, so they're able to keep their names. Yay! Um, so no confusions there either. Now we get into the Autobot Rescue Patrol. Um, and the Autobot Rescue Patrol consists of Stakeout and Red Heat. Now, when it comes to the names, uh, Stakeout was kept, because that was the, the original name of this police car one. Originally it was called Holly in, in Victory. And then you have uh, Red Heat. Originally, he was called Red Hot. Mm. So I guess they couldn't get Red Hot. Uh, you know, there must have been some, some logical reason behind it. Probably, uh, um, you know, some kind of uh, hot sauce kind of took over. Oh yeah, it's Frank's true. Red yeah, Hot. Frank's Red Hot sauce. Oh, you're. You know what? You're probably. <laughs> you're probably one hundred percent right. I'm not here for so my looks, maybe, people. Maybe <laughs> to just avoid that brand confusion. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they went with Red Heat instead of Red Hot, even though Red Hot predates it by, by quite a bit. Uh, so, yeah, so you have these two guys, again, very, like, almost 100% accurate to their original versions. I remember uh, Red Hot specifically also, I believe it was called, oh, I think his Japanese name was Red Hot also. Mm. Um, Red Hot had a very interesting front end for his uh, his fire truck mode, and they keep that, that more you know, less of a flat nose, more of a, a weird kind of traditional truck, mm-hmm. long nose front end. One, he has the mm-hmm. he has the articulated uh you know ladder. Uh, ladder, which still again the original version had. Again, really cool that they maintained all of that. The same thing, the face, the robot mode, everything was kept like traditional to the original. Same thing with, with Stakeout here. Now Stakeout has some Cybertronian written yeah, on the side. When when I first saw the uh breakfast pictures i thought that was japanese at first and it's yeah, only and now looking at this promo picture i'm seeing that it's actually cybertronian now i haven't trans uh, translated these but what i'm going to do for people who are listening is i'm going to take the time later in the day to translate this and i'll write the translation in the description of the video so you'll know. Maybe, hopefully, it's not something terrible, <laughs> like like no, in the past. I don't think it's gonna be something terrible. They probably like really clamp down or something like that. Uh, I, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. It's a I police mean, car. I mean, if they're <laughs> again, if they're doing a uh, they got caught running, the first time. If they're if they're yeah. if they're doing a running change, I'm pretty sure they're like clamping down on everybody. Like, yeah. hey, what do so you So I'm gonna, but I'm definitely I'm gonna try to I'm gonna translate what's written on the side here. I'll put it in the description after I take it because it's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna try to zoom in. I'm gonna get out my old my little decoder mm-hmm. list and I'm gonna uh, try to translate. I, I kind of hope that it says Stakeout or Hol- I would like if it says Holly yeah. or something something really like a really good family. Oh, name. like these... um, what's his name? Sea Spray's tattoo. Yeah, Sea Spray's tattoo that says his girlfriend in the wrist, Alana. <laughs> so little things like that, little cool little fan nod- nods like that would be cool. Um, and the last set uh, is the Autobot Battle Patrol. Now, this one I really like because this was also the set that I, one of the sets that I grew up with as a kid. Um, the names for these guys this time around, you have Flask and you have Big Shot. Now, <laughs> the thing is with this one is while Big Shot got to keep his name, uh, the original one was uh, the character of Flask here, which is the the green little missile launcher there. He had a little artillery. Originally, he was called artillery. Flak. Originally, now, it was called what? Flak. F F L A K. Yeah, I can now, see that. Fun- that's probably based off of Flak missiles or something like that. Yeah. The thing is, is that's bizarre. Is Hasbro at one point actually had the trademark to the name Flak, and uh, they actually used it for a Bacon exclusive. Mm. And I found it very bizarre that they they chose not to continue to uh, to use that name. And why Flask? I have no idea because that's. He's That's booze now. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm. I'm hoping that this is just an error, or it's just something that was uh, that was mi- misconstrued uh, when it was uh, in production or something, mm. and uh, they'll they'll fix it as as time progresses. Uh, someone pointed out to me um, when I was discussing about these that uh, the character of uh, of Big Shot. Uh, shares a similar molding to that of Red Hot. Yeah, it's Red very Heat clear. It's like you could just totally uh, it, see it. Yeah, it where they they gave him a new head sculpt and and the whole back end and stuff uh, and a new obviously like I guess we'll call it turret at the top. Yeah. Um, and they just kind of swapped it in between a fire truck and a new head that's, with a turret. And head. That's so what I was already, expecting that they were going to do. I was like, oh, they're probably going to repaint. Oh, there, there it is. But what's cool about it, at least, it already shows the potential of remolding and retooling within the line already. Yeah. And um, these two look great. They look great. Again, very, very uh, reminiscent of the old G1 ones. 
Uh, the original flack and or flask uh, had a lot of looseness in his legs when you would do that uh when you do that uh his legs which mm-hmm. were made from the missiles there so it's gonna nice to have an updated version that doesn't have that <laughs> problem although i have some new ones now that aren't too bad but uh, i just also wanted to point out that the autobot race patrol was the one i grew up with that was the cool the team well there I you go so yeah. we have we have both our childhood ones here now all we need is someone that says they had the rescue patrol growing up and we're good <laughs> Um, one thing that uh, one of our uh, loyal listeners pointed out to us, too, I'll mention uh, David Cabal. He mentioned that now of the spreads thus far of Siege of War for Cybertron, one thing that is very much lacking that, that hasn't been mentioned, no auto, no Decepticon characters. Yeah, that's true. Wouldn't they be um, um, uh, well, he, more so like planes and stuff like that, if he, I remember right? He brought up something interesting. He mentioned how, well... We have this whole thing where it's like Autobots versus the Wreckers. Mm-hmm. So maybe some of these might be Wreckers designated characters. Mm. And because we have this whole Mirage versus Impactor, which we haven't seen yet, which was the winner of the vote. So it's a possibility that some of these might be under the Wreckers category. Okay. And how some of these might be under the Autobot category. And uh, that would actually make a lot more sense because, again, so far not a single villain character. Very uh, Japanese. In uh, It's kind of funny because when the MicroMasters were really huge in Transformers Zone in Japan, there was mm-hmm. not a single villain toy outside of Metro Titan. Ah. So it's, it's, it's very funny that uh, thus far we have all of this. And, yeah, well, not a single Decepticon among all the ranks. But either way, great stuff. This is awesome. Uh, you know... They really reinvented the wheel again for, for generations. This is something for people to get really excited about. Uh, I just wanted to just correct also, I mentioned before that uh, Leader Class, uh, Ultra Magnus, and Optimus Prime would be in the same case assortment. It's actually going to be Optimus is the Voyager, and Ultra Magnus is the Leader Class. So uh-huh. it's going to be Ultra Magnus, four per case, Optimus Prime, Voyager, one per case until something is said otherwise. It's still early in the week. There might be other announcements of that, but still really cool stuff. I'm digging everything here. This is like, again, MicroMasters were my were a big chunk of my childhood growing up as a Transformer fan, so it's going to be really cool to revisit a lot of that and see it in a modern take, which we kind of you know felt was going to be the natural progression. Yeah. And, and with, like, you know, characters like uh, Fire Drive, which is also kind of like a weapon kind of thing going on that we saw with Optimus Prime, and the Weaponizers, uh, which is what they kind of represent. The Weaponizers was a name that was taken from Transformers Prime, and there was a Weaponizers Optimus Prime toy. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of play value going on here. A and, lot of play And something pattern. I want to bring up is that um, I'm looking at the Autobot Race Patrol, uh, Race mm-hmm. Car Patrol, and um, the fact that the way I guess the transformations work is very, very similar to what we had before, which is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, well, yeah, they, they, they kept they kept the way that A turns to B, but yeah. they modernized it. Yeah, exactly. Which is really cool because, again, and sometimes... I, I also want to know how big these guys are going to be. Are they going to be the exact same size as MicroMasters from back in the day? Are they going to be a little bit larger? Like, I would like to see a nice side by side comparison. I think the judging by the photos here, they might be slightly larger. Uh, The fact that they're two per case is another thing too that kind of made me like open my eyes a little bit, in the sense that I was like, okay, they're two per, they're they're not two per case, two per packaging. Mm. So I mean, I think that like you know, if it was like a three pack, they would have been something more mini con size and mini cons were, were more in tune with what MicroMasters were. Right. So I think these are going to be a little larger, but, but not that much really. Um, there's another thing also I want to mention that people were talking about, but it's nothing, nothing too major, but it's just that, um, when they were showing the video, uh, promoting essentially this, th- how the gimmick works and everything, uh, someone mentioned that they saw uh, in the background of some of the images um, a G1 Prowl <laughs> and and Terrajet. Uh, G1 Prowl, Red Alert, and Terrajets. Uh, te- so there's a possibility that we're going to see some Decepticons. Maybe it's just part of the art in the background, but nothing confirmed yet. And the same thing, um, maybe it's just in the background for now with G1 Prowl and G1 uh, Red Alert, but who knows what the future will bring. But Definitely, uh, we'll report it as uh, the next day's uh, pass of this. And, I mean, looks great thus far. 